Hi guys, it's Allie. Um, I've got a story for you guys, and it's actually kind of funny and scary at the same time. But the thing is, like, I was, I always do the DIY first before I film it. So I thought, hey, if I film it while I'm doing it first, maybe I wouldn't have to film it again later. So I did that. So now I'm filming the intro part first. I mean, last. And what happened was, last night I had a football game. Oh my god, I sound weird. Football game. And there was supposed to be, I got there around 5.30, no, about 6 o'clock-ish. And um, what happened was, there was a severe tornado warning. Like, warning, like everything was there to have a tornado. Every, all the parents were getting all the kids upset. People were crying. Everybody was very scared. And what was happening was um, it was supposed to touch down in Allegheny State Park in about 10 minutes. And it was about 7 minutes left in the Pee Wee game. And then my game would have started. The midget game. And what happened is they um, rallied everybody. every Both stands, both teams into our school into the center like the very center of the school in the basement in this testing room because there was supposed to be a tornado because there was a warning for it and they said it's very possible you oh my god it was scary I, the second you walked in the school everybody was packed against the walls because during a tornado you don't want to be sitting in the middle of a room you would want to be standing up against a wall and you walk into this giant room it's our testing room downstairs. Both teams, they ended up taking all the football players and putting them in the boys' locker room. Um, the cheerleaders stayed in the testing room. The funny thing was, I was cheering with the peewee cheerleaders just to keep them not crying and stuff like that, but they were having fun. So I joined in, and we were cheering, and I got yelled at for cheering too loud. So don't do that. But, yeah, they had us stay in there for a good hour Maybe an hour and 15 minutes-ish. But my friend Kirsten threw up because she was so scared. Um, it was it was actually kind of scary for me. Like, I was scared. I didn't know what was going on. And if the parents kept their mouths shut during the stadium, because everybody gets a little notification on their phone saying, oh, there's a tornado warning, you better keep take cover and stuff like that. A warning means there are all the ingredients to produce a tornado. It does not mean it's going to happen. There was a hub or a cloud funnel above Allegheny State Park, and they said it would be touching down. But I don't think it did, and if it did, it didn't really do anything. But, so, yeah, I'm sorry about that. This video was supposed to be finished up and posted yesterday, but because of that, because they went... They said you could leave the school, but honestly, if there was going to be a tornado, the safest place to be is in that school. My house is not safe for a tornado. It's old, so if we went in the basement, the house would collapse on us. So we were nice and safe in there, so we just stayed in the school. We got home like 8, 10-ish, 8, 5, 8.05-ish, and it was... It, I was just a bit shaken up about it. That was scary because I, I am horrified of tornadoes and stuff like that. And just the thought of that happening. I am so lucky because I have lots of pets. I have a hermit crab. I have fish. I have two dogs, two guinea pigs, and a cat. And I would have been... I didn't even think about if there was a tornado, what would happen to all my animals. And I would literally be bawling my eyes out because I didn't think about that last night. Which was good because I would have been crying the entire time. But I was trying to... All the Pee Wee cheerleaders were, like, freaking out. Everybody was just freaking out. But it wasn't really supposed to happen. They didn't think about it correctly to the point where tornadoes can't really touch down in Allegheny because we're in a valley and there's so many hills. But, I mean, I felt bad for the team we were playing against because they had to drive all the way from Franklinville to Allegheny, which I can't remember how far that is, but... Still, like, driving anywhere over 10 minutes away from your home when there's a tornado warning, it isn't fun. I mean, there's no service downstairs, so people couldn't get contact with their parents to tell them that they were okay. But in the end, 
nothing happened it just poured and rained and that's pretty much it but full disclosure I'm really sorry about that well let's actually get into this video we are gonna make um I am guilty of not charging my phone at all so it's usually dead 80% of the time and I love listening to music but when it's dead you can't really do that and when I plug mine in, my outlets just kind of let my phone dangle. And that's really bad for the cords. So, I made, I took, like, you take a plastic bottle and you're going to cut it into the shape of, like, a basket with a handle just in the back. And I didn't paint this one. The one I did paint got left out in the storm. And the paint did not hold up because it was it was a nasty storm in general. But I'm going to show you the one that did get finished. Alright guys, this is the uh, holder itself. It's I didn't paint it yet. I probably will, but it's a bleach container. And you cut around the edges. And then you cut it so... Here, let me take my iPad out. So there's a little loop in the back. And it can go over your outlet. You can put it around these. But I don't suggest that because it could pull your cords out of the wall. It's not good. Don't do that. I don't suggest it. You can if you can't get it behind this. But since mine has a space on it for whatever weird reason, um, you can do that. And considering it can hold my iPad mini with a keyboard and case on it, I think it can hold several phones. Um, I do have a speaker that I can suction cup onto either the side or the bottom or there or actually put it in there with my phone but I only use that when I'm playing music so let's get to the DIY alright guys we're down in my kitchen because this is where the knives are um, I'm gonna use a Clorox bleach container to make my phone holder um, you basically cut it into the shape of like a basket but you don't have to have the handle in the front just in the back so I'm gonna do that be very careful if you're gonna use a knife even if you're gonna use scissors be careful doing that too all right guys I finished cutting this and right now like all right I ordered a ukulele and it literally just came as I'm speaking right now the lady just dropped it off I'm gonna go get that I'll be right back up um, we're just gonna paint this and this is the part where you can do whatever you want. Um, you can probably washi tape this. Or if you want to be like a freaking Hakuna Matata. This came from the earth kind of person. Um, just leave it like this. I would like to paint mine. This, I have this little speaker. And I thought maybe I could just put it in there with my phone. Because I love listening to music. But I'm guilty of not charging my phone a lot. <laughs> it's kind of sad. I'll be right back. Guys. All right, guys. I know it's been a confusing video and kind of long. Well, and by kind of, I mean actually really long. But in full disclosure, I'm just still kind of, wow. That was one strange, long football game. That'll be a story to remember. But, I mean, like, I got my ukulele right here. I'm not going to play anything because I don't know anything. I know how to strum, though, that I can do. But people are going to be like, how are you going to learn ukulele? I'm, I, I will figure it out myself. And from the help of a friend that kind of knows some. Um, I do play saxophone. So usually after you learn one instrument, it is easier to pick up another instrument. But it all depends on just because a saxophone is a woodwind. This is a string. I'm not sure how it's going to go. But thanks for watching. Sorry this has been the, like, literal most confusing, worst video I've probably ever made so far. But please like and subscribe. If you don't want to like, I don't blame you. Um, to see more of my mad weirdness, I'll probably try and figure out a song on this for you guys. But I'm not sure. It all depends on how I can actually play it. But I will try. I promise. Bye!